secret air ride suspension in the crew too? Bow now now, bow now now. But I kind of want to buy another car. And I kind of want to buy another street race car. Because um, we only have the Audi, which was our first car. And I kind of want to replace all of the freebie vehicles that we kind of got from each each um, headquarter. To start it off, we got that power boat and we had that uh, freestyle plane that we could replace as well. Um, but if there's other things you would like me to buy first, feel free to suggest it. You get another drift car for some drift competitions, another drag car, another hypercar. Although our hypercar is pretty beast. There are some other options that are pretty good in there. Let's see what kind of options we got in here. We always get bikes, which don't get me wrong, I'm tempted to buy another bike. But I feel like we should get a car, because we don't get cars very often. And uh, we gotta replace that Audi, I think. It's great, it's fun to drive, but we need something new. And hopefully something that's not too expensive. <laughs> we don't have any big trucks or anything, that's pretty funny. Um, we have an RX-7. Ooh. You could race in that thing. That's the thing that that guy flipped, I feel like. Maybe we don't want that thing. It's a death trap. Ooh, we're starting to get expensive already. I haven't seen too, too much that I'm too crazy on. Let's do some searching by brand. So they only have the two Audis, but we already have an Audi. What kind of uh, Nissans they got? Five Nissans. We have a fair lady in our off-road car, I believe. 370 Skyline, 370Z Nismo, and a GTR for 373000 Not a bad option. Mercedes generally has some pretty badass options, some pretty big engines and some cars. I'd probably get this one over all of them. So we could save some money and get one of the 370s. The 2013 or the 2016 Nismo edition. Or we could just go all out and get a GTR. I think I'm going to leave the vote up to you guys. And what I'm going to do in the meantime, didn't mean to do that, is just buy something cheap to just kind of, um, to just kind of quench my thirst for a new vehicle here. So let's see what the best cheap car is that I kind of like. Oof. I mean, that's tempting already. I kind of want something that I feel like I'd be able to modify decently. And Impala's cool as well. I've actually seen one of these driving around recently. I didn't know what it was. 124 Spider. Yeah, I saw one driving down the road and I was like, what the hell is that thing? 130,000 for that is not terrible. 133 for that and I'm still getting a Nissan at least. Isn't a bad choice either, I guess. I kind of want this thing. It's, it's cheap. It's different. I like it. We're going to get it in uh, in this old school blue. Oh. <laughs> what are those? The red ones are definitely cool. I mean, so are those, but those are just the basic stock ones. We want something different. Let's go with the red ones. They look cool. Take my money. See if I care. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of noise you expect to hear right there. Let's go see if there's any friends up the street here that want to say hello. I think that guy's in the air, actually. Where'd he go? Maybe not, maybe he's just up the mountain. Oh, somebody's got the season's pass. Oh, and somebody just left the game. Or teleported somewhere else. So that's, you know what, that's fine. I didn't want to check out your stupid car anyway. Let's go see what this guy's doing. Oh, here he goes. Oh, no, he's stopped. Does he want to race? What's up, dude? Nice car. 
very nice choice. I almost bought one myself. Oh, now he's got a drift car. I'm going to add some performance parts to this thing to really surprise him. So we're looking at about 207 kilometer per hour top speed, 321 brake horsepower, does a quarter mile in 14.7 seconds. Let's see what we can get that up to here. Now these aren't even my top of the top parts because my Audi has those right now, but we'll still just get it as high as we can. Going up to 356 kilometer per hour top speed, 516 brake horsepower, 200 brake horsepower increase roughly. I can't remember the exact beginning number and we shaved almost four seconds off the quarter mile in theory oh he's got a gtr that says what watashi wasashi i don't know who that is but sounds legit do you want to go have a race you might win because that thing seems quick Oh, ow. You want to race, man? Line up to the line if you want to give her a go. If you want to see what you put your money where your damn mouth is. Oh, he took off a little early on me. I was not straight at all. I don't think that line down there is very straight. Oh, he's gone. I'm keeping with him though, considering he had the early start, but now he's starting to pull on me for sure. That car is just straight up fast, but he crashed and I win. <laughs> he hit me. Jerk. All right, man. Well, I'm going to go modify this. It was fun playing with you, Warashi. Do you want to do an actual horn start this time? Oh, I'm getting on him. He's got no traction. Oh, he this guy's definitely tuning his car. You can tell the way it's pulling. That like he's got some he's definitely got some gear tunes going on. And we're dead. Ooh. Sorry, I was watching you, Warashi. I wasn't even watching where I was going. I would love to keep sitting here drag racing you and getting my ass kicked by your GTR. But I want to see if I can do any modifications to this real quick before I really run out of time. All right, I'm sorry, but you have been replaced momentarily. Eh, maybe we'll replace the Indian. I don't even really drive it anymore since I got the Ninja. Let's replace the Indian in the back here. I know, I know, I'm taking your land. <laughs> too soon? Too, probably too soon. Probably too soon. But look at it. Just put some Americana in its place. And you can hate on them and not us Canadians with the suicide doors. Oh my god, I didn't even know it had suicides. That's so amazing. Why don't they make more cars with suicide doors? Like, that just seems convenient. Now, let alone cool. It just seems convenient. Oh, that feels nice. It's not, it's not even real life and it just feels good. I want one. Who's, who's gonna buy, who's gonna go fund me? Oh, the automatic windows? In this thing? From like, what, the 40s? Oh. It actually has a wiper? Oh my god, they're on the roof. I want one. I want one. I, I officially... I will sell my soul to the devil for a modern one of these that's like this. Maybe not this color, though. This color is growing old very quickly. Let's see what we can do to it, though. We can... Oh. My. God. The hood options. I love the, like, belt. The leather belt is what makes it. Oh, the wide body. Oh, my God. And then it like repeats all of the options in wide body. <gasps> oh, you can see the engine. Oh my God. And that adds the intakes coming out. Those are badass. How do you even choose? Oh my God. <laughs> How do you even choose? That's pretty cool. That's like some freaky punk art. 
metal weird I don't even know what I'm saying anymore but personally I kind of like that one badass although I wouldn't I wouldn't get the carbon fiber one I don't think I would get this one carbon fiber on a car this old just looks weird I mean the wide body is also kind of cool it just makes it look like a completely different car and then I also like the really long rat rod style pipes stolen straight off a church organ but like I don't know if I want this car to be that dramatic. Feel free to leave your input and change whatever I decide to land on here because trust me, I want all of these things. So if there's one that you particularly think looks good, shout it out. Let's hear it. I like those belts holding on the roof there. That's awesome. Or the hood, not the roof. I wish I could get those belts and that. Now that would be... That looks so fucking cool. I'm so glad I bought this car now. See, this is why I like the street race vehicles, because they tend to have the most elaborate options as far as modifications go. Let's leave it for now and see how the rest of the car starts to look. And then we can go from there. That is a cool concept, but I'm not sure if I like how naked that makes the front end look. That makes it look like a tractor. Oh, what does that make it look like? That looks like Elton John or something. I'm not a pirate. But that's th thanks anyways. Modern day pirate and all. Cruella de Vil. Maybe. One of those type of things. There are 63 options here. Okay, but they're probably all repeated. And the things that change is the front bumper here. So we start with this basic front bumper. Let me go into this beer tap looking front bumper into a suitcase into a beer keg. Just kidding. I know it's not a beer keg. Where'd you get that from? Doesn't look like it was supposed to be a bumper, but hey, it works. That's so fucking awesome. Oh, I kind of want that. It might add a little bit of weight. Oh, what? But it's so badass. Actually, it's probably lighter. Bones lighter than metal, isn't it? I think, maybe, I don't know. So you basically got to choose which bumper you want. And then from there, you could choose what headlight style thing, grill combo you want. I like all the different options this game has. It kind of combines like Need for Speed and Grand Theft Auto's car modifications into one like their styles of modificating of, of doing modifications on the cars and i like it i kind of like this one but i also kind of like this one this one's a little more clean i think whereas this one's a lot more like i am straight up redneck so i think we're gonna go with this one because i like the concept that it's basically the bumper but it's not a bumper obviously so now the question is, which headlight style do I want to go for? So that's stock. That's how it looks stock. That's an upgrade for sure. I like that better than stock. Again, a cool concept, but I just don't think it works. That looks like a clown. Like a straight up clown. Or a Corella de Vil car, I can't decide. That just makes it look like a tractor or something. Like, not even like a cool tractor, like a riding lawnmower tractor. That reminds me of, like, Jay Leno and Elton John for some reason. It's some kind of freaky love affair. I like the little skull, though, on the hood. That's a nice touch. Whereas this skull is a little too gaudy. This one is interesting, but it looks like a radiator from someone's house. It was kind of used in the making of this front end. And then this one, you're just trying too hard. So, I guess that only leaves this one. This one's bad up close, but when you look at the whole car, it's not terrible. Just like when it's like this, it just doesn't look... It looks like a clown. It looks like a smile, a nose, two eyes. It's not It's not good. Um, let's do this one. Oh, am I actually buying this? I haven't bought anything else yet. <sighs> yeah, we're doing this. We're going to build around this. Are there any cool rims that they don't have stock that would look really cool on this car? Because this car, you could do some weird rims on, for sure. Nah, I didn't like any of them better than that one. 
I mean, you could do the skulls, but I'm good on the whole skull thing. To be honest, I don't know what I have against skulls. It's just not my thing. I'm definitely keeping the old school style mirrors. Oh. 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 That looks kind of weird. Why would you do that? Beats me. So I do like that look. That look is very good. Do I like the fender? I don't like the little fender. See, I don't like these fenders as much. Because they come like straight down at the back. I like this fender more because it flares out at the back. But I don't really like the whole uh, rebar or whatever. Rebar. Rebar. Rebarbra on the back. It's not really my thing. So I think we're going to stick with none on there. Saves me money and I'm all about that. Can have a big old wang on it, but I'm I'm cool on the wang. Ooh, that puts something on the front. Oh, that's badass. Too bad it has to be included with the wing. Um, rear bumpers. Ooh. Nice little tire with the hook combination. Exposed fuel tank. That's pretty cool. Got some exposed, some kind of cooling or something. I'm not exactly sure. That looks like a straight up keg actually this time okay that is a straight up keg this time but it's I'm, I, I can almost guarantee it's not full of beer there's actually 42 different styles on this one but I'm sure it's just going to change this bumper piece after a while that's pretty cool the bullet holes are a nice touch little Bonnie and Clyde kind of deal going on there and then we're back to the beginning but with a different bumper so we got the, the bumper delete. We got the bumper. What is that? Is that like a fuel tank bumper? Because it looks like it's got a place to put fuel in it there. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. The extended uh, muffler pipes there, exhaust pipes. We got that beer tap bumper again, just in case you have a theme going. And uh, a bit more of a heavy-duty bumper with some very tiny little exhaust pipes. But it looks like the bumper's sitting on them. It's pretty funny. I don't really like that one that much. Then we got the same exhaust pipes but with a, a little bit of a kink in the bumper. And there might be one more. Uh, maybe two. No, just this should be the last one. Got some tow hooks and stuff on it. Hmm. I think I like the bumper delete. It's either that or this gas tank one, but I think I like the bumper delete on the back. I don't really like the little old school exhausts on it, but the ones with the other exhausts are not the best looking from afar. This one's not bad. Hmm, now I have to decide what I want the back end to be. I mean, I kind of like the keg, but I also kind of like having a trunk. I mean, how do you race with that open like that? It's kind of weird. I'm realizing it also changes the tail lights. Could could base it off of which tail light I like the best. I do like the one with the keg. You know what? Let's do the keg. We're doing the bootlegger, bootlegger car over here. The interior. I kind of like this light blue and red scheme I got going on here, but maybe it's too much. You know what? Let's go with the red. What's this? Uh, we can add some black inserts, maybe. So it's not just like all red. I think if you're going to go all red, you got to go all red. You know what? It's probably the only car you could get away with doing it. So we're going to go all red leather or like some kind of weird suede thing, I guess. We'll go with leather. Interior insert. Uh, does that change it on the door as well? It does change it on the door as well. So carbon, wood, or just like a nice plain black. Oh, or like some kind of like pitted steel or aluminum. You know, we'll go with this silver. I kind of like it. Makes it look a little more old school, I think. Now we got to figure out what we want to do with the hood now. And I really don't think any of the other things that we've done are going to help me decide kind of basically between the big long pipes or that one. Or we could just go something a little more modest. 
Well, I like the intake coming out the hood, though. I like it coming out the sides like that. It's pretty cool. Or we could keep the hood and just have the pipes coming out the side of the hood. But where's the fun in that? A little exposed hood never hurt. Let's do this one. It's only two grand, which isn't a lot in this game. And I think we're done. Now, the only thing left to do is check out some liveries. See if uh, there's anything cool. <laughs> The top of the list. Eat your heart out, Ryan. West Coast Customs. We got a Fallout one. Nuka Cola. That's cool. Old school Pepsi Cola car. That's really cool. I, I might actually have to do that, even though it kind of goes against my whole blue scheme that I had going on there. It looks really good, and it fits with the red on the interior and everything, too. The red accents work. Although, funny thing is, I'm more of a Coca-Cola guy. Let me know what you are in the comments down below. You you like Pepsi? You like Coke? What's, what's your thing? You know what? I'm going for that Pepsi-Cola one. It was the coolest one I've seen in a little bit here. Um, so we're going to do that one if I can refind it here. Pepsi-Cola car. I like it. Now we just got to change the color a little bit here. See, the question is, do I try and go for just this kind of whitish cream color on this accent piece here or as the base coat or which is showing up on this accent piece on the window or do I try to blend it in with a matte blue which obviously I have no idea which blue this person used that one's pretty close that one might actually be closer it's easier to match or get close to the other color because it's not actually touching the other color. So if you're a little off, it's not a big deal. I think that's close enough. It might be a little too yellow. But you know what? I think it looks pretty good. You know what's in here? Pepsi Cola. Sponsored. <clears throat> well, that's going to be it, folks. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more... Do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here, or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit Bobo the Clown. Take her easy. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, Lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs>